Blunt Cut Metalwork, April 10, 2016. And today I need to chop up some uh, these uh, pork rib here and this baby back. Two and two little chunk. And I, this is the thick of end of the baby back here, the uh, rib here. And anyway, the right tool will be like a meat bandsaw. And the other one will be the cleaver, and better accept thinner because otherwise you make a mess. So, the um, one thing about this, about, let me see, would be a wrong tool here is um, first of all, this is the chopper and they, have, they don't have a straight edge, it's like a cleaver. Secondly, this is the, the tool, mark, I mean, the steel is D2, known to be very brittle. Well, bound and not that hard. But anyway, the chopper here is extremely thin. The spine is 187, and the uh, one is up an inch. And uh, the uh, behind the edge thickness here is uh, 27 inch. The seven wind bevel is 15 degree per side. And of course, because it's curved edge, so I mainly chop out of this range right here. And, and I don't want to, uh, I want to cut the bone stay up a little bit, so I don't want to, okay, maybe this way. So, I go to the bone, and these are uh, bone not that hard. This one didn't go too. Well, you chop through the bone to get to the marrow. So, and uh, basically, you mean you keep going do it too, and you, I got two more slabs to do. And this video shown that dude, this is pretty simple, easy task. To be more sensitive. Anyway, see, we see, here you go. I got to chop it. Don't want it to be terribly hard, but I will try to chop it into the cutting board. I'm actually cutting the chop in the cutting board pretty badly here. But this is my test cutting board anyway. And of course, after a quick chop, and you can. Look at the edge. Bone is soft. Chopping like African black wood or other heavy, you know, other hard wood and wood knot and like that would be hard, but bone, no problem for this geometry. All right, thanks for watching.